so guys there were some balloons like these that you can see that were used strictly for giving rise to people who attended the festival these balloons however were tied to the ground and they only rose up to a certain point and as you can see people were standing in line waiting for their rides So this is the VIP area where we sat down and of course this is before the balloon show started. And this of course is a few minutes before the show started. You can see the crowds definitely gathered closer to the fence. And just to pan around and show you our section, it definitely filled up and thank goodness for these umbrellas. Before you even ask, yes, that man standing on the cannon in the white t-shirt is going to climb in and get launched out and hopefully land in that red net over on your right. He said he's a second generation human cannonball, so hopefully this goes well. So it's finally time to get the balloons all set up and as you can see all the vehicles have pulled up onto the lawn ready to get all of their equipment out and yes the crowd got even bigger.
surprise me to us. We're just done with the hot air balloon portion and we're gonna go back to check out the concert, right? Yeah, concert, lighthouse. Yay, lighthouse. My peeps. Hey, if you were born in... Don't date yourself. <laughs> This was so different, so good. Um, would I recommend it? Definitely, look out for it. I just Googled hot air balloon festivals in New York and this one came up, obviously it's in New Jersey, but it's only like, what, an hour and a half or two away from the city and it was something different. I've never seen a hot air balloon, so this was like really unique. There's a concert going on. There are tons of little like booths selling trinkets and air balloon things and food. It's like a fair. There's the, as you saw, the amusement park rides and all of that stuff. It's definitely a family thing. And I would encourage you, obviously you have to drive. This is not a, let's take the train and take a bus. There's none of that. You have to drive to get out here. I would encourage you to Check the dates, it happened, well this time it's what, July 27th now. So the tickets were about $80 with this pass and we had a reserved area where we sat down and stuff like that. So if you wanna do this with the family next year, definitely save for it and you could for sure pack a picnic. There was no indication that there was um, that they banned outside food. So you can pack a picnic and stuff at home and then I just like first of all excuse me <laughs> do, do you not see me filming you just like pushing my elbow out of the way so you can find your stuff and whatever lord these people huh. anyways guys it was so good and guess what it was my idea <laughs> Almost all of our other summer activities were ours idea, but this time it was my idea. And um, how many points for me? Yeah. How many? I gave you 10 points for the camping trip. Oh, how this many? was a 10. This is a, yeah, this is you a don't 10. think I deserve like 20? No, that's actually... Excuse me, 20 points? No. 20 points. Hey, 20 points for me? No. <laughs> yes. Scale of one to 10, 10 is here. He said that this felt like one of these like American summer movies where people fall in love. So, hello, I just gave you your little summer fall in love vibe. Cut. Say it, cut, say cut. it. You fell in love with me again, right? I, yes, I did. <laughs> so, see? Uh, that's a definite 20 pointer, yes or no? No. The scale is 10. That's, hello, I invented the scale. I said it's 20 and that's it. Anyway, friends, don't forget to share the video and like and what else? Comment and obviously click those red letters that say subscribe. Till then, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye.